Hello, whoever's out there. My name is Janet Myatt, and I'm going to teach you how to do a type of meditation that I found works really well for Westerners because it, we keep the mind engaged in this kind of meditation. Um, you use creative visualization, you imagine it, and you can't do it wrong, and it helps increase our body being communication. So um, you just find a comfortable chair, sit back. You want to have your feet flat on the ground and your back straight, fairly straight, but comfortable. And you can have your hands resting gently in your lap and just close your eyes and go within. So start by taking a couple of deep breaths, deep cleansing breaths and release. And give yourself permission to turn your mind inward and to kind of unplug from the external world. So go ahead and using your imagination now, create a line of energy from the base of the spine, right there at the very tip of the tailbone. Just create a line of energy from the base of the spine straight down to the center of the planet. And make that grounding cord nice and wide, at least as wide as your hips. And set a color for that grounding cord. And again, just use your imagination. Pick a color that you enjoy, that you like, that makes you feel like you want to be in your body. And just imagine now setting that grounding cord on release and letting energy just flow right down that grounding cord, right into the center of the planet. There's a huge recycling center there energetically, and you can just let go of uh, excess energy, stress energy, um, foreign energy, and so forth. As you go through this meditation, the grounding cord just works to pull that energy out of your space. So just imagine letting go now of your day, letting go of all the people that you interacted with today, and just imagine them maybe going down a big slippy slide down into the center of the earth. You're just sending their energy back to them and clearing out space for you. And uh, let go of your to-do list. Just pop it right down that grounding cord. Let go of any communication, any kind of busyness going on in your mind. Just imagine hanging up the phone if you're still kind of having that dialogue in your head with someone that you may be in communication with and just take a deep breath and release. And now once again, using your imagination, um, make contact in your mind with the consciousness of Mother Earth. And just say hello to that soul, that enormous loving presence that is um, the sustenance of so much uh, life force energy for us. And just make that heart to heart, mind to mind connection and working co-creatively with Mother Earth. Imagine now selecting a vibration of Earth energy to run right up into the feet. There's little chakras in the feet, little spinning vortices of energy. And this Earth energy comes right up into the feet. You can just imagine a color, a nice beautiful color. You wanna just avoid working with black, white, silver, or gray because those frequencies of energy tend to knock us out of the body. We're actually trying to get back into the body. So just pick a nice color that is soothing to you and allow this source of earth energy to come from deep, deep down in the planet, at least two thirds of the way down um, from the planet and imagine it coming right up into the feet. You can open up those feet chakra until the energy feels kind of buzzy. There you go. And just let it flow right up. It just wicks right up those energy channels that run right there through the legs. Just watch that color of energy flowing right up the legs. You can feel that sensation passing the knees, coming into the thighs, into the hips, down across that pelvic floor, into the first chakra, again, at the base of the spine. And that's a, a, a larger energy center than the, than the ones in the feet. This is a main major chakra, one of the major seven chakras that run along the central column there. You just imagine this earth energy flowing right into that swirling uh, vortex of energy, or if you prefer to use the image of a lotus flower with the uh, petals opening up, whatever makes you feel content and at ease. And you allow this earth energy to flow in there and then just run right out down that grounding cord, releasing any energy out of your legs and out of your system that um, is foreign to you, uh, that is maybe too low of a vibration or too high of a vibration, you're calibrating here. And you do this simply by creating the intention. Spirit works directly from intention. 
um, and you just let this energy flow and release and right there that first chakra at the base of the spine um, that that level of consciousness has to do with survival keeping the body safe keeping the body alive and so you just want to allow this earth energy to flow in there and help you release any issues around survival around health and wellness structure safety stability security and just let yourself come into it one minute or at inner peace you're sitting comfortably in a chair and let the body just really decompress and breathe, let go of any stress that it's managing. This level of consciousness also has to do with tribal mind or group mind, which is sort of matching the people around you so that you can fit in and be one of the tribe. Um, but that can be very confining and stressful to the body. So you wanna give yourself this break to just be at peace, finding your own rhythm, finding your own rhyme, finding uh, your own uh, truth and allow this energy to help you do that by decompressing the chakra and letting it release. And now again using your imagination create a contact with your um, with your mind and your heart with whatever you consider to be a source or God or universal mind that loving presence that contains the universe that from which we all um, extend or uh, come from just make that connection I call it the supreme being that's just a term that works for me but you want to call upon this um, um, loving universal presence by um, a name or a term that that is meaningful to you and then working co-creatively with this presence select a vibration now cosmic energy and allow it once again you're gonna select a color and allow this energy to come from some uh, place in the cosmos that you and the Supreme Being or this Universal Presence are selecting. And you just allow it to flow right down into the top of the head. There's the seventh chakra there at the top of the head. And just allow that energy to flow into that crown chakra and begin to open it up. Let it come up into um, a, a nice clear vibration of light and let it uh, begin to spin or move and this level of consciousness has to do with unity pure spirit reconnecting with source you might imagine yourself as a drop of light an enormous ocean of light and notice that you are of the same stuff as this ocean you are a drop of light uh, in an ocean of light and you are the ocean in one drop see you're made of that same essence just feel that support allow your um, drop to be moved and held and nourished and supported by this larger ocean of light and just give yourself permission to go home for a moment back to your spiritual home and feel that that support and that interconnectivity with the universe and breathe and and as this energy flows into the head, you know, it's going to flow right down that central column, right through the chakra column, through this sixth chakra in the center of the head, down into the fifth, and it's going to branch out once it gets to that fifth chakra in the throat, and there's four back channels, two along each side of the spine, and it just flows down quite naturally like a river until it reaches that grounding cord at the base of the spine and then flows right down to the center of the planet. So you, the personality inhabiting this wonderful body that you are using to get around in the physical world, you are connecting now with earth energy and with cosmic or spirit energy, reconnecting and creating a fluid, energetic um, flow of uh, energy and consciousness. And you can just breathe and allow that energy to flow and start to wash out that central column and get those chakras spinning. You can pay attention now to the sixth chakra in the center of the head. And as that cosmic energy stimulates that chakra and opens it up and uh, turns it on, comes up to its full light quotient, you can open up your inner vision, your ability to see spirit, to see energy, to see beyond the veil, beyond just what the physical senses can see, beginning to tap into your own truth. 
And you might imagine seeing yourself as light just flowing into the body and that you are the light and that you have a body. You're not actually the body, but you have the body. It's one of your masterpieces <laughs> that you use to express through. But you can begin to identify with this light. And you might, uh, through this inner eye, opening up your inner clairvoyant eye, you might notice that everything contains this light and is made of this light. And you can start to feel that interconnectivity and breathe and release. Deep breath and release and enjoy that sensation, that lightness of being. Very good. And now you can turn your attention to the fifth chakra at the base of the throat. And this level of consciousness has to do with communication and creativity. This is the communication and creativity of the indwelling spirit. And you can allow this cosmic energy to begin to wash out this creative space and this communication space, washing out any uh, energy that might be sitting in um, this energy center that is creating a blockage for you or creating um, limitation for you. So letting go of limits so that you can start to move into your creative calling in this lifetime. What are you here to express? What are you here to create? What are you here to manifest? And you can kind of let go of any creative projects that perhaps don't inspire you too much. You can start to let that go and just move into this inner playful, playful space of creating. Energy follows thought. You can uh, let it wash away any bitter words, any arguments, any difficult or challenging aspects to your communication space. You can just start to unmatch from that and let go and start to find this really fluid communication space, allowing your light and your truth and your creative endeavors to flow freely without impediment through this creative center. And breathe and release. Very good. And just notice again that from here, the fifth chakra along these back channels, there's two rivers along each side. So you've got four all together flowing down the back. And these energies flow behind the chakras. And there's little connectors from these energy centers into the chakra. So the energy flows in and it flows out. Cleaning, stimulating, spinning these chakras allowing you to vivify, balance, and harmonize these chakras in present time. You can turn your attention now to the fourth chakra in the heart center there. This level of consciousness has to do with affinity for yourself, others, and the God of your heart. And you can just begin to let your light shine and let go, let this cosmic energy help you let go of any place where the consciousness of the personality is harboring beliefs or ideas of, of unworthiness or not good enough or scarcity or where uh, the personality may feel it needs to hide or dim its light. And just allow this cosmic energy to wash through this fourth chakra and let go of any entanglements there any issues and come into this place of serenity, kind of an interconnectivity with the brotherhood of man, begin to see the light in others and begin to connect with that light rather than perhaps with the ego level. And just kind of allow your soul to shine and notice the soul light in others and come into that place of equanimity and balance. There you go, really nice and bright, letting your light shine, beautiful. Great, and staying now in these upper chakras, you're gonna allow this cosmic energy to wash out the lower chakras, three, two, and one. Those are the um, denser chakras. And just imagine now as this cosmic energy flows into that third chakra that, uh, you're going to allow this 
energy to help the personality release any place where it's caught up in issues around control. Too much control, too little control, holding the reins of your life too tightly and wanting to micromanage everything and control everything. Um, or the opposite where the reins feel like they're perpetually being ripped out of your hands and you feel like you have no control and kind of being pushed around by life. Instead, allow this cosmic energy to help you to find that, that middle ground, that upward pointing triangle, that, that central point where you're gently holding the reins of your life in your hands and you're being guided by your indwelling soul so that you know which way to go, when to turn. You can have healthy boundaries, saying yes when you mean yes and no when you mean no, and letting go of any struggles around control, creating from effort, and allow yourself to take a step up in remembering that spirit creates from intention and energy follows thought. It's sort of a miracles and magic space. You set your intentionality and then you take direction from this wise aspect within yourself that knows how to uh, move energy and direct energy. And you're taking a step up today and in learning how to participate in that process consciously. So good for you. Congratulations. <laughs> Excellent. And now you can pay attention to the second chakra. The second chakra is below the belly button in the in the sacral area, whereas that third chakra is in the solar plexus area. It's above the belly button. So now we're gonna take a look at that one, the second one, second chakra, right down there in the sacral plexus. And just allow this cosmic energy to, as it flows through that chakra, to help you at the personality level release any place where the consciousness is really caught up in polarization, good and bad and worthy and unworthy, beautiful and ugly, okay, not okay, rich, poor, you know, any place where you're really struggling with what we call the pairs of opposites and just let go. Take a break from that struggle and again, allow this energy to help you find the upward pointing triangle, that center point, that fulcrum, where you can come into it one minute. There is a middle path between these pairs of opposites. What we have here in duality is actually a wholeness that's been arbitrarily kind of put into these two uh, diametric poles. But actually there's a place um, for all the, of these qualities in wholeness when they are balanced and understood. There's a time to be assertive and there's a time to be passive, a time to be visible and a time to be um, quiet or still. Um, so just allow this cosmic energy to move you into that place of it. One minute, letting go of polarization, energetic polarization, emotional, mental, very good. There you go. Now that central column is really starting to flow nicely. And as that cosmic energy flows into the first chakra, joining with the earth energy and releasing, just notice that the first chakra continues to get a, uh, 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 even more of a healing now as that cosmic energy is flowing through this uh, primary chakra, letting go of, of struggle, of worry, yeah, very good. And we're going to now create a, a turn in the energy. We're going to start to run a combination of earth and cosmic energy up the two front channels. And those front channels run from the first chakra all the way up into the fifth. And then they're going to branch out at the fifth. And I'll direct you to that. First, you're just going to use your imagination once again and create a combination now of earth and cosmic energy. 90% cosmic, 10% earth. And again, Use your imagination, see a color for this combination of energy. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a logical blend of the earth and uh, cosmic energy. It's whatever is actually going to be vibrationally most conducive to your wellness and balancing your chakra system and your consciousness. So just imagine a beautiful color for this energy as it flows up the two front channels. And just notice the energy as it flows, it geysers up. Just take a deep breath and release. And the energy flows into the front of the chakra as it travels up, you know, into the front of the second chakra and the third and the fourth and the fifth. 
And it joins with that cosmic energy flowing in from the back. The energy just flows right through those energy centers that are spinning and balancing and they're coming into attunement. So it's like tuning a guitar. You want all of those chakras to be perfectly in tune and balanced so that they're working optimally. And this earth and cosmic energy is helping you to do that, to tune the chakra, to let go of any inharmonious or cacophonous energy, anything that's too dense or, or, or too flighty. Very good, very nice and bright. You can feel your energy rising, coming up. Very good. And now right here at the fifth chakra, just allow the energy to branch out now into three equal rivers, one third flowing straight up out the top of the head, out into your aura, which is the electromagnetic field of energy generated by the aura, by the chakras, I mean. Yeah, and then the other third, so a third's flowing straight up through the top of your head, out into the aura, and one third's flowing down the left shoulder and down the arm, and right out the chakras in your hand, right there in the palm of your hand, little chakras and then your fingertips, and you just let that light energy flow right out into the aura. And the remaining third is going to flow right down that right shoulder, down the right arm, again out into the hand, and into the fingertips, flowing out of those chakras. You can feel that. You can even let it really kind of rev up until you feel that energy kind of buzzing through your hands and fingertips. And these uh, energy channels that are running across the shoulders and down the arms, these are your creative channels. So you're really helping to clean out your creative space as you run this earth and cosmic energy uh, in this um, triple river here. And as the energy flows out the top of your head and out of your hands into the aura, just imagine that light energy flowing through this aura, which is basically vibrations of light that flow off of this central column out into um, the field of energy around you. And you want to call your aura in. So you want to have a nice boundary to it so you can understand and recognize your own personal energy field. So just call your energy in so it's only radiating about 12 inches around you, front, back, side, above your head, below your feet. Just imagine yourself sitting in a beautiful ovid of light energy. And this earth and cosmic energy is flowing beautifully like a shower through the aura. And the aura can get little rips and tears and little holes and leaks uh, throughout, throughout the day. And this earth and cosmic energy just flows right through that energy field, repairing any place where the aura has been damaged, where it may have been pushed in or whacked or, or um, where it may be leaking. Yeah, and just allow that earth and cosmic energy to flow and that aura is connecting in the bottom there, right down into that grounding cord and draining away. And then the last step here uh, to complete your uh, meditation is to fill up with soul energy, with your own inner wisdom, that higher essence within you, that wise being that uh, sits outside of, of you know, your personality life, your ego life. It's that aspect of you that is divine and loving and wise. It has will. It has uh, intelligence. It has wisdom. And you're just going to rub your hands together so you can open up the chakras and get them stimulated. And reach right above your head and imagine a huge golden sun full of this soul energy of your own highest creative essence. You can even imagine feeling it. And when you get really good at this, you actually start to feel it, this very subtle and beautiful energy. You're going to pull it right down into the top of your head, right through that, that chakra column, that central column right down, filling up all the places you've released from, filling it up with you, your own highest creative essence. You might imagine it filling up every cell in your body, bringing those cells up to gold so every cell is shining and vibrating at gold and filling up your emotional body with gold, with inner peace, with prosperity, with balance and filling up your mental body 
with clarity. Yes, and wisdom. Very good. And you want to fill all the way up, all the way down, filling up past the feet. You want to fill up the whole aura. Just keep filling up until the whole body is brought up to gold and then that whole bubble that you're sitting in is brought up to gold. And then you reach over and you touch the ground so you reorient yourself back to the room and you uh, can come out of trance, open your eyes, pat your body, thank your body for sitting patiently with you. And um, may it be with the blessings of the Supreme Being that this meditation be complete, that you walk your path in joyfulness. Amen. I hope you'll join me again. Take care.